Hi, and welcome to Life with Jen. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a new set of highlighters I recently received in the mail. These are called the Diverse B. The Diverse B is um, sold on Amazon, of course. They are, the, these ones are in the dusty color. They won't bleed, they're child safe. They won't dry out and they're washable. So if you get them on something, it's gonna come off and um, you know, you won't ruin your clothes. So here is the package. This is the dusty color. The dusty colors are right here. This is what you'll get. And they send you a little thank you on the back. So let's just, Take that thank you out. And this is the brand. Um, I've been looking at this brand for quite a while. Um, what I liked about it was the muted colors because a lot of times your colors are really different. So here is a dusty, I don't know what color this is. It doesn't say. Anyhow, it's a twist kind. You smear it on like this, and then you can take it down, you can take it up, and it's got a cap to it. It clicked tight. I think they're the perfect set of highlighters, and I wanted something not real bright, not um, traditional colors, more like, um, aesthetically pleasing kind of because uh, I purchased a new Bible recently and I didn't want to use big bold colors. I want to wear it on a muted tone so that <sighs> as I aged and the book aged it wouldn't look um, so you know changing. I, there's a word for that, but I don't want to use it like because I don't want to, any discrimination. So this is a um, one of these little cards, and it's just a hard piece of cardstock. And so on the back, I did from here to here, and so I'm going to show you what they actually look like. I'm going to actually set this up so that you can see. So the first one's right here. You barely see it. The second one, it's really light yellow. This one's a little bit better. This one actually looks yellow and it's gray. So I'm going to try to do a better lighting. So color one, color two, color three, four, five, six, seven. And I want to say there's a color there, but it doesn't feel like it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I missed a color. So I will redo this part and I will show it at the end. Um, but it's really, they're really beautiful. Um, so I have a different set of highlighters that I bought and I thought I would be using in the Bible and I tried it and it's really way too big. Like um, they would bleed through. They're gorgeous highlighters. I'll talk about them another time. But So I'm going to go through really fast and show you what I'm doing. So here's the first one. It's kind of like a peachy tone and these are the old ones. So let's just like put something around that so all in white paper it looks peach to me almost like that one so my next color is more of a gray tone right here i actually like these a lot better on this paper instead of the other um, the other paper just made it look so dingy. 
like so that you can almost see it. So that was the pink color. This is more like a plummy, like an elderberry color, which I really like. It's really pleasing to the eye. I was most excited about this one because it was supposed to be like a dusty rose looking thing. So, and it is a dusty rose look. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. And it proves to me that it looks better on regular paper than it does in the box. I am really impressed with these colors. Um, I'm just wondering, I haven't read it yet, but I'm wondering if they're made out of honey. This is a blue one. And it's a pretty blue. I'll show you these here in just a second. I got one more and this is kind of like a really gray, like a matte gray. So I would call this more like a steel blue maybe. So, you know, the first time you saw these colors, that's what you saw, right? Uh, I think you'll be amazed because when I pick up this sheet of paper, that's what they really look like. So, let's do this. I'm trying to think how I'm gonna do this without dropping everything. Let me tear this piece of paper off and bend it over so you only see what is there. So, there's the first set, the collars, and there's the real collar scheme. They're gorgeous. They are absolutely gorgeous. I love the way they look. I love the way they look in the light. I think that they will withstand a lot of what I was looking for. I wanted something that was so nice and like pleasing to the eye because if, if my eyes hurt or if it's a uh, really, sorry, really bright day, it, my eyes kind of hurt a little bit. And so to look at these tones, they tell me I'm comforting, I'm pleasing. And they are, I am excited to use them in my Bible. And I will probably be using a um, writing a new key out for them very soon. So I'm trying to do it without. There we go. That's what they look like. They're really cute. I'm really loving these colors. That's like my favorite. So, um, so I was trying to sit here right off the top and think about how I wanted to do it and. Um, because there's, you know, one that's really light. And I think the really light one, I kind of want to do as, um, maybe as peace. Or I could do blue as peace. I don't know how I want to do this yet. But um, when I do do this, I will come back on and I will decide and give you a little bit more video to it. Um, I am really excited to be getting Life with Jen up and running on both Facebook and on Instagram and also on um, Wix, my blog. So if you have not been there yet and you would like to try it out, let me get over there so I can give you the site name and how to get there. Um, so if you go to www. Oh, that's not gonna do it. Sorry. Oh. Okay, I will try to do this. I don't know how to to share it, but I'll figure it out. I'm new at this, so this is Life with Jen, and Life with Jen is learning how to set up her blog and to make it shareable so you all can enjoy it. Uh, I have got a couple um, new subscribers on YouTube and I thank you very much for joining. Um, tell your friends, tell your family, 
and just don't be afraid to have this eventually maybe after a year I'd like to turn this into a podcast where y'all could see like special guests on here and um, just get really into the way we do things at, at Life with Jen. Um, I'm a mom of two beautiful kids. One would say handsome, but the other one would say beautiful. And then I have been married for tw almost 25 years. And I met my husband when I was 20. We got married when I was 23. And we have had a couple foster children. I would say we've had a total of five in our home throughout life. But we have adopted two children. And maybe I'll do the story on that, but maybe not really soon. That's that's not one I'm ready to share yet. Um, I just wonder what you guys want on this channel. Like, what are you looking for? Are you looking for just a friend to hang out with? Someone to give you Bible journaling tips? someone to share, you know, life experiences with. Um, here's a little bit of how I plan my, um, to do my channels. I would like to do one post, which is a blog post a week. And that is either lifting you up or giving you something that, that just God has poured off my heart. Um, and then I'd like to do one one video, one blog, and one Instagram a week. I may do more Instagrams, but they won't be a lot. Um, but the point is I want to teach you guys, not really teach you guys, but like help you guys in your faith walks. Uh, as I go through my Bible time and how I do my Bible time might be different for the way you do it. So we just have to figure out what works for us. Right now, I read this some scripture this this afternoon to a friend that was struggling with some anxiety issues, and so the scripture I read to her, and I'll read to you because everybody should read this scripture if they're having a rough day. If they're having a rough day, they can't sleep at night, something stressed them out. This scripture will help you. It's Psalm ninety-one, and it starts with verse one. And we're probably going to go to verse, maybe, I don't know. Let's see where we leave off. It says, our chapter 91, verse 1, it says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2 says, I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress. My God, in whom I trust. Number three says, For he will deliver you from the snares of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. Number four says, He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is in the shield and the buckler. So I think we're going to stop there. But I think... If you're really struggling, starting at verse 5, you're going to see where God tells you, you know, you will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrows that fly by day. So yeah, let's stop there at verse 5. You will not fear the terror of night. You will not be afraid at night because I am with you. You're not going to feel fire, fiery arrows shooting at you because... I'm here for you, and I'm covering you with my pinions, which is his wings. And I am, I'm here, I am i love you, and he's just pouring his heart out to you, saying, you know, God is here, he's going to love you, he's going to care for you, he's going to take every bit of your life and turn it to peace, as long as you turn your life to God. So, Psalm 91, 1 through 5. We might touch on this again in the next video, but I just want to say thank you for coming on and joining me here tonight or today, whatever time it is today in your world. 
a year, um, 24 hour span. And thank you for joining me. Once again, don't forget to try out some Diversity. I think that's what it is. Diverse B highlighters, Bible safe. And so, um, you know what? Let's just test out Bible safe right now. And I'm just gonna use this blue for peace. And I am going to do a verse in here. I'm just gonna do verse three. It looks gorgeous on these this paper. Of course, I don't have great light on here, but it's really pretty. So I just did verse three with this blue collar. And I will show you verse three. So this is verse three. It's really pretty. It's not too dark, which means, you know, it'll be fine for day. It'll be great for night. And just a simple, subtle little color. Um, another color I wanted to try was uh -huh. this one right here, which is a purple. So I'm going to take this purple. It doesn't look too purple here, but it is purple. And I'm just going to do he who dwells in the shelter of the most high will abide in the shadow of the almighty. He is my fortress my refuge, my God in whom I trust. Okay, I just lightly did this enough to kind of cover it and say that I did it. Actually, let me do that a little bit better because it kind of like went off on parts of it. Okay. So that is verse 91, one, two, three, two. Really gorgeous. It's a little sticky. At first and then let's go down here it's already dry so within a minute you have it dry and you know um, I was thinking let's try this green maybe that was more green anyhow let's see what this color is I think we're going to use this. Uh, I don't know. We'll wait on that. Anyhow, thank you for joining me tonight. Um, I've already went over, so I might be exiting some of this. But thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.